Hello, welcome back to another collection video. Yep, yeah, I know it's been a little while since I've uh, stuck on it. I've, I've changed it around a little bit. Um, basically, I've took all the box sets off the bottom there, um, put a lot up there, got some videotapes up there as well, and I've got all the box sets up there. And that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to do the top shelves, the box sets, and all that lot. So there might be a few repeats in here, but it's just tough titty i'm afraid <laughs> uh, i know there's probably a, a lot of stuff that hasn't been seen anyway i've uh, got assault on precinct 13 this is the german uh, media book um i know it came out on second sight but i just didn't bother upgrading it um beyond reanimate reanimator this is the german media book i love the artwork on this these were really cheap these media books uh i've got to admit they're pretty cheap and it's packed as well you know you can see it's packed fully uncut i actually see this on the cinema believe it or not they showed it at one of the london film festivals um yeah silent night deadly night this is two movies showgirls vip uh hooker edition or whatever it is and you get nipple tassels in there i often wear the nipple tassels uh, when I watch the film, you know, just just for a bit of fun, you know. Uh, the Sleeper, nice little slasher. This is the VHS uh, DVD combo. I know it's out on Blu-ray. I wouldn't mind the Blu-ray, but, you know, I just kept this one. Nice red VHS there as well. It's a cracking little movie if you've never seen it. Little slasher film. Chucky Collection. I don't need to say a lot about that. I've shown this one before, Famous Monsters. Hands the Razor, it's the free movies. Um, I think it's available over here still. Um, this is the US one, obviously, I didn't know it was coming out over here. <laughs> one of my mini Coffin Joe sets, which has got all the movies in there. Great artwork. This was on the Rue Morgue magazine. I've actually got another edition coming up of that, which I'll show you. Um, <clears throat> Lemon Popsicle movies, all of them, all seven of them. I've got the Amicus sets. Um, Pete Walker's Frightmare, which has got those movies on it. Comeback, House of Mortal Sin, House of Whipcord, Frightmare. Uh, I'm going to upgrade on this because the quality quality is all right. This is these are the old Anchor Bay sets, you know. Um, got this one norman j warren which i've got on indicator anyway the only reason i've kept it is signed by dave mcgivery and the man himself uh norman j warren sadly miss uh, i miss norman uh he's a great guy to be honest uh met him quite a few times uh amicus collection dr terry's house horror house at drip blood now the screaming starts beast must die uh yeah great coffin sets i know there's a tiger on one i never picked that up uh talking of coffins this is good blind dead collection which is tombs of blind dead return of evil dead ghost galleon um yeah the blu-rays are all on different sets it's got the nice documentary in there as well which is really cool uh <clears throat> we have got ray dennis steckler box set yeah i haven't got the um severin box set yet just can't afford it. It's just a bit out of my price range at the moment. But you've got four movies on here. Three or Killers. I've got some of his adult stuff anyway. Already on Vinegar Syndrome. Another Coffin Joe set. This is the Brazilian one. Which has got um, some extras that ain't on any other set. It's got all like the different bands and inspiration of them. Who says that I don't have normal movies? This is Martin Scorsese. I mean, one of the best directors living um alice don't live here anymore um who's that looking at my door after hours goodfellas mean streets all absolute classics brilliant films brilliant director does he make a bad film i don't think he does really to be honest um the godfather collection obviously this isn't got the uh, godfather coda part three this is a blu-ray set um, I'm quite happy with that. I, you know, perhaps I might get the Coda one. I don't know. Um, some science fiction, fifty movies, plenty of garbage on there. Uh, as you can see, there's lots of great trash. Um, the, these sets are, are, are a bargain. They're, they're like you know, you've got Robo Vampire, Rota. Yeah, they vary in quality. Night of the Blood Beast. God, look at all them 
pieces of crap <laughs> that you just want in your collection. Dawn of the Dead. This is the old Anchor Bay set. Um, I've just got an affinity with this set. I just, I just can't bring myself to get rid of it. It's a cracking little set when you open it up as well. Personal favourites, Ilsa, She-Wolf of the SS, Harem Keeper and Tigress of Siberia. They're actually coming out on Kino Lorba. I will be upgrading because I fucking absolutely love Nazis. No, I love Nazi exploitation. <laughs> Great little TV series. Um, can highly recommend it. Plenty of um, uh, different directors. Abe Ferrara, Michael Mann. Plenty of stars in this. Oh, look at the look at the guest stars. Look at the guest stars. Um, right, the box set is this is the US box set. Probably the most complete version with the soundtrack. Soundtrack's always been a bit of an iffy thing. It's set in a a, a strange time era. With not great, you know, rockabilly, you know, sixties. It's just amazing. Great TV show. It's just really, really good. If you if you've never seen it, you're missing out. George Carlin, Uncle George, Miss Uncle George, uh, one of the greatest comedians alive. This is all his HBO stuff and all the bonus stuff. Look at all that. Everything to do with George Carlin, you get a nice poster in there. Uh, and sadly missed in this politically correct landscape, the Amity Collection. These are the DVDs. Um, I know there's a 4K coming out of the first one. And, uh, yeah, you get the Amityville Confidential in there as well. I've got to stack all these up after this. <laughs> Lone Wolf and Cub Collection. This is the old DVD set. Um, I missed out on the Criterion one because I slept on it. Um, so, yeah, if anyone's got a spare Criterion one, I'll trade it for something. But, yeah, it's great, great, great movies, you know. Blade Runner, I've got the 4K of this. This is the one with the film cell and everything in there. I'm running out of shelves to put this. Willard and Ben. Prefer Ben over Willard, but they're still, you know, things from the youth, shall we say. William Castle box set from Indicator. Um, Zots, Old Dark House, Straight Jacket, uh, Frightened Girls. It's classics on there. And on this one, you've got The Tingler, 13 Ghosts, Homicidal. Love Homicidal, it's great. And Mr. Sardonicus. And Mr. Sardonicus is, is great as well. Columbia Collection, uh, which is Escape from the Fog, Undercover Man, Driver Crooked Mile, Five Against House, Garment Jungle, and the lineup. The lineup is absolutely classic. If you can just see that alone, it's worth it. Um, False 10 from Another Own. This is the. Uh, Indicator box set, cracking cast. Yeah, it's just just full of stars, really, to be honest. It's a great little film. It is a classic. It was present from my mate Ian back in the day, a long while ago. Night of the Demon. Limited edition. It's a cracking little movie. It's got half a dozen versions on there. And talking of Norman, you've got Satan Slave, Prey, Terror, Inseminoid, bloody new year get nice book and all that and it's a cracking edition limited to six thousand i think it's out of print now martin personal favorite this is george romero film vampire sort of thing but done in a different way you know done in typical george uh george romero style but uh it's a cracking movie nice little werewolf movie here dog soldiers looks good on 4k and I know it's been released in the States as well. Stanley Kubrick, one of the best directors living. I'm not, uh, I, that was, what was living? Not living, <laughs> was a lot. But um, yeah, Shining, not too keen on Shining, I must admit. I must, I prefer Eyes Wide Shut over The Shining, which I know, uh, you know, and Clockwork Orange, my mate bought me the 4K, my mate Steve bought me the 4K, and it absolutely, looks absolutely great. Barry Lyndon. Yes, I know they're out on 4K, but can't upgrade everything, can I? <clears throat> Alfred Hitchcock. I think everyone needs Alfred Hitchcock in the collection. It's got everything in there, to be honest. Um, yeah, Saboteur, Rear Window, Vertigo. Vertigo's personal favourite. And uh, yeah, 
that's all you need. It comes in a nice booklet, all artwork and stuff, bonus features. And again, I said it last time in in the personal favourites, good, the bad, the ugly, a few dollars more. Just just great movies. Watch them time and again. Sunday, Sunday afternoon movies. Same like these. Clint Eastwood, greatest living director. But I'm... You know, I don't know, he's just getting on a bit now, and he's gonna, he's gonna pass away. You know, and he but he'll leave a fantastic legacy of movies. Let's be honest, they're all fucking crackers. And last but not least for this one, uh, we've got Jean Paul Belmondo, The Professional, Persa La Ville, and The Marginal. Um, oh. Just fucking great movies, man. You know, Percy LaVille, man. Great stunts. He does all his own stunts. For that old geezer, jumping off of trains and doing all that shit. Yeah. So, yes. That's that side. I'm going to put all these back up. And, yeah, we'll see you in the next video.